Waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another FC Finch Transformers review yet another official Transformers review we are two for two on this and today we're going to be looking at something of the mainline studio series 86 persuasion we're going to be looking at Autobot Blaster and his little buddy eject and uh, this is yet another purchase that comes from JJ he is a good friend and huge supporter of this channel he uh, has basically been on a roll lately with these hauls and he's just been hitting up the store and uh, every week he's been handing me a bag. We get together, have a few adult beverages, and he hands me a bag of bots that I take them out. And I get to see kind of all aspects of the market and just all the cool stuff we have to play with and just how lucky and how awesome of a time it is to be a Transformers collector. But either way, we're going to take a look at Mr. Blaster today. And first, we're going to see what's shaking in the box. Obviously nothing because pretty much everything is outside of it. But of course, we have a nice picture of Blaster and his buddy Eject in some very nice menacing poses blaster with a little smirk on there i quite like that autobot blaster and eject studio series 86 transformers the movie takara tommy and generations then we got transformers made by hasbro and then of course we have the same picture got a little more of blasters legs and then we of course have transformers authentic sense we need to specify these things these days and then of course we have all that this toy does we got the little guy his uh we got blaster we got his alt mode we got the base just play base and uh we got all that good stuff and then of course we got a nice frontal shot of blaster pseudo series 86 number 25 and transformers the movie and some legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom with a upc sticker take a quick look at the instructions and of course we do have a nice shot of blaster and eject on there we're back to the single sheet of instructions this transformation is relatively simple and you can see all the steps that we got and then of course if we go to the back you see him in alt mode and then of course it has little steps for his little buddy eject and uh yeah that's basically it for the box so let's get a good look at mr blaster and we'll bring the camera down just a bit and uh he has a cool little body got a really nice kind of a neutral face sculpt i kind of wish he would have had something a bit different but either way it's painted very nicely had a nice blue paint for the eyes and a nice blue on his little forward helmet here as it should be uh i'm looking like it might be painted yellow for his little chest plate got the autobot symbol of course and that's left side and center and then of course you have this little plate right here that is cartoon tattoo accurate they did release i believe a kingdom version or whatever it was that has the clear chest uh, but this is the basically that same mold just a bit more tune accurate and of course he is lined in red plastic with of course some gray plastic in there for the accents i mean it's blaster you know how many different ways can you do it got a little bit of red paint down here on the legs and his speakers right here all done up got his handlebars hanging up but they are hidden away nice enough looks really good um he does have some gappage in the hands just kind of due to the way he transforms his design it's a main line what do you want and uh yeah moving back around again overall he's got tons of these little uh, uh, ports that you can plug all kinds of stuff into. And overall, he is uh, relatively clean, uh, save for the back of the knees. But of course, this is also due to his transformation. Again, it's a mainline. What do you want? I'm not too bugged by it. I think it's all right. Uh, back is done very nicely in detail. Got these little like battery type pumps right here. It looks really good. Got tons of molded detail all over the back. And yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's a generally well done blaster. As far as his articulation goes, uh, his head, I think, might be on a ball chain. He looks up just a smidge he looks a little bit down and he can look all the way around it is kind of tight on this copy he does of course move his arms all the way around at the shoulder he can go all the way oop that's for later um he does have a bicep swivel and he does have an elbow can't quite get you the full on yeah and uh no wrist swivel to speak of his wrists don't move at all but they can i guess kind of go out just due to transformation so i guess if you wanted to do that you can do that and then of course he move his wrist out to the side he does have a waist swivel you can move the butt plate back just like that he can get you a nice fusion kick straight on he moves it all the way to the back he can get you just shy of a fusion back kick and out to the side for a full on fusion sidekick most of the fusions for this guy he does have a thigh swivel at a cut joint gets you 90 at the knee and then of course he has an ankle tilt quite a bit of ankle tilt and he does have the slightest bit of toe tilt i think that's all he gets you 10 tilt up dude transformation and that's pretty much it for his articulation 
We'll move on to his accessories. He does come with a few of those. So first and foremost, he comes with his little blaster here, cast in a nice gray plastic. It's got quite a few ports on it, but it does have some nice molded detail. You got the little uh, uh, barrel right here with the little um, ribbing on it. And then you got some uh, detail towards the end of the barrel. And then of course you got a whole bunch of grooves and you got the little, look at that, you got the little adjusters for the sights molded. And that is a really nice touch, nice attention to detail. Same thing for the grip back here. It does look really good. And of course he can hold it with this uh, same thing, same style as most uh, mainline bicycles. He's got that little port uh, on his hand. But of course, if you want to store it on him, he does have several options on his back. You can store it in any of these ports. You can store it right about here uh, if you so desire. Of course, my two favorites are uh, using this port right here. It kind of makes him look like he's going hunting or whatever. And then of course, if you want, you can use the alt mode uh, storage. You have a little tab right here. And if you notice, on the gun you have a little slot right here on the handle and you're just gonna plug that in just like that and that's pretty non-intrusive and does actually look pretty cool and for his main gimmick of course he can uh, open up his chest just like that you can do it for him or you can make it look like he's doing it you gotta figure that little pointing shape to kind of go in there and press his own buttons but uh that is pretty cool nevertheless and of course why do you do that because you this guy comes with eject his little buddy and uh, eject isn't tape mode right now and of course you can open this up and you can put eject inside shut him in there and then of course you can open it back up and you can take eject out he doesn't launch out really but uh he just kind of falls out and we will take a quick look at eject and of course he is done in his typical uh kind of bright blue and white i believe the white is just molded same thing with the blue he's got a lot of molded detail on here especially he's a uh, little fins on his chest does has some paint uh, on his chest area got the autobot symbol right there it's kind of like yellowish gold i do like that and then they got kind of a bright white his little uh four pack down here you got some moldy detail on the shoulders spin him around and uh you see a little bit of mold detail you see the back of his head as well and uh yeah he does make for a successful a relatively convincing tape and of course he can transform so we'll do that real quick so what you want to do is you want to kind of pop out his head and this is kind of a paid in the butt There we go. And you're going to spin the head around just like that. Next, what you want to do is you want to bring down the leg, and it just comes down this hinge here. And then you just rotate the leg. You see his little foot. Same thing for the other side. Just bring it down, rotate. There we go. And then you can bring out the arm, and you can rotate. And there's a little hand right here. And you can bring this down and rotate. And he's just on a, that's pretty much him in his robot mode. He is a cool little dude. No weapons or anything like that, but it is a really nice little accessory for him. Uh, he is made up of mostly hinges and ball joints. So he has a hinge at the shoulder, hinge at the shoulder, hinge at the leg, and uh, I believe a hinge at the thigh. So we'll do his articulation. The head is on a ball joint. It can look way up due to transformation, pretty much a little bit down. Uh, can swivel all the way around. The arm can go all the way around. It is relatively tight. It can come out quite a bit, and he does have a full on. He can get more of a yeah than a uh, blaster can. And he does have a rotation at the bicep. And then, of course, no uh, rotation at the waist to speak of, but he can do a nice fusion kick. Uh, he can do a nice fusion back kick. Wow, really fusion high kick. And then, of course, a fusion side kick. He can get more fusion kicks than Blaster. And then, of course, he does have a knee rotation and the, the knee does give him more than 90. So, again, a whole bunch of poses for Mr. Eject here. And again, he's a cool little dude in many ways. You know, a little bit more articulation than his uh, mother bot right there. And uh, that's pretty much it for our accessories. And for a quick comparison, we're going to bring in, of course, my only other uh, mainline bot. We're going to be in the Studio Series uh, Hot Rod right there. And I mean, this is pretty much G1 in a nutshell. Uh, for some reason, Blaster and Soundwave both turned into the smallest of uh, items, uh, boom boxes and whatnot, but somehow he's bigger than a car bot. And that just goes all the way back to G1. So I mean, it is G1 accurate. It is, I guess, cartoon accurate. I just think it's still pretty silly. But nevertheless, there you go for a comparison. And before we move on to his alt mode, we'll talk about his little display display base which does come as part of the box this is basically the backing for the box you can see it's got transformers the movie on there and has a nice screenshot of autobot city i believe this is right before ultra magnus and pals rolled up for the first time and you can put them right on there so you can get him right in the middle of the action just like that and that's pretty much it for the display base just a little cool extra feature 
And it is that time to get Mr. Blaster transforming up into his iconic boombox mode. So let's get right down to it. It's overall, like most main lines, a pretty fun and intuitive transformation. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up his back right quick here. We're going to push his head back just like that. And then that is pretty much done right there. Next, what we want to do is we want to take his arm. We want to rotate it all the way around right here. And we want to bring up the arm and then we want to bring this out and uh, rotate it all the way around. And then you're going to rotate this, just kind of snaps off this uh, little uh, tab right here. And you're just going to rotate it all the way in like that and bring the arm down. It's going to be the same thing for the other arm. I'll do it off camera. So now you basically got this going on and we're going to transform his legs now. So what you want to do is a uh, quick push this in, just rotate it all the way around so it comes out like this. And then what you want to do is you're going to rotate his waist all the way around 180. Bring this panel up just for now because what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the uh, leg just like this so the back of the thigh is facing outside and then we are going to open this up just right here we're going to push this up on this hinge just like this and leave that like that and then what we want to do is we want to oh, 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 push the foot in just like that to get the foot all cleaned up and then what we want to do is we want to bring the leg up and you notice you got a tab right here on the thigh and that's going to go into a little slot right there on the hand it is kind of hard to position and uh, that should lock everything in place keep it nice and tight just like that and it's going to be the same thing for this leg i'm going to do that off camera and i'll be right back so now we got mr blaster looking like this doing the splits and uh you notice he got two tabs on his like inner thighs right here and he got two slots right on the back here so you're just going to bring this down and uh you're going to plug it in to both slots that'll kind of keep everything plugged in and then what we want to do next is you're going to kind of bring this in and uh, you notice the hand's going to kind of go into a space right here so you want to make that go in you got a little slot right here and that's going to connect to a tab right on there and that'll lock everything we'll do the same thing on the other side so bring this down just like this and you got the little tab right there the hands are going to go into that little box and there we go and that'll tab in and we just got one more piece we're going to bring up on the hinge his little handle here rotate it in actually you can leave this back a little bit same thing for the other side just bring this up on this and just tabs in right along here onto one of its ports and you can bring it up rotate in and then you're going to connect them both at the center and like magic, there we have Blaster in his boom box mode. So let's take a look at the Blaster boom box. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, some some things never change in 40 years. Uh, it's the same timeless design, but it does look very good. It's a very nice update to it. Uh, you can see he's just got stacks upon stacks. He's got speakers, speakers, speakers right here. To, like the little uh, detailing right here. Same thing with the other side. Uh, he does have all little buttons detailed right down here. He's got the little knife and they even have like little neural uh, ribs or neurals on them it feels uh just like kind of a real uh in a real boombox wood it's got little volume dots up here uh tiny speaker details all over here as well same thing with the tune knob button looks really really good i got little tweeter speakers down here as well again just overall really well done the handle does hold them up sturdily enough and uh, you can see he's a really cohesive piece in this one not too many gaps down here at the bottom and uh i mean you can see most of his back on the outside. I got a little bit of gapage right here, but overall, I think it pulls off the illusion extremely well, especially for the mainline toy. Uh, definitely a really solid job here. And of course, he can store the weapon. Uh, and similarly, while we always talked about, we have the uh, tab right back here, the slot, excuse me, and you have the slot right over here, or the tab right over here. I always get the tabs and the slots mixed up. And you know me, uh, you know how I like my weapon stored in alt mode, out of sight, out of mind, and I think that looks absolutely absolutely perfect because I'm never going to pose him from this side. But of course, you can plug it still into any one of the ports that you see on him uh, if you like it looking a bit more ridiculous. And of course, he does come with his buddy Eject. And you could just, oh, I dropped Eject. You can just store Eject inside his chest right there. <laughs> chest right there just like that. 
and uh yeah there we go and uh it does need a little help to open uh but yeah overall uh there we pretty much have it for mr blaster in his alt mode and we'll do a quick comparison just to get that out of the way and uh you saw this coming of course he's somehow bigger than a car he could probably blow the car away with his uh boombox sounds uh but uh there you go you can just see i mean uh, even in g1 he was bigger than a lot of car bots so uh that is pretty much it for the alt mode so let's summarize on Transformers Studio Series 86 Blaster. And I mean, this is quite a hard bot to get wrong. And I quite frankly think he is a solid update to the classic character and of course the classic toy. Uh, his robot mode looks very nice. Got quite a bit of molded detail and a fair amount of paint in there. There are some gappages, but as I always say, it's a main line. What do you want? I'm not mad about it. Uh, articulation uh, is pretty par for the course for most models modern figures of this price point. Uh, he gets most of the stuff done. Uh, accessories wise, he comes with everything that he should have, including his fully posable eject that also fits inside his chest. So they got all the gimmicks out of the way and uh, eject quite a fun character to mess with in and of himself. Transformation is fun and enjoyable and uh, he's a good looking boom box. Uh, he's got quite a lot of nice details in there. And that said, I do recommend him. Of course, you could check out Big Bad Toy Store or if you value the hunt, you can check out all of the retail stores for him. I believe that's where JJ got this. So he's got quite a haul recently. So uh, if he can find them, you can too. Um, and that is pretty much it for this review. So you guys know what to do at this point. If you found this review fun and informative, let me know by hitting that like button down below. I do greatly appreciate it and it does help me out. And also, if you're not yet a member, join my clan and help me fight off the Decepticons uh, by subscribing to my channel, of course. And I do Transformers reviews quite regularly, mostly Masterpiece, but JJ has been giving me quite a haul lately so uh, we are just kind of expanding all over the Transformers universe and occasionally we do a few other toys on every once in a while and that is going to be about it I have been FC Finch thank you so much for watching good night